Hey water signs, Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. This is going to be a general reading but it is going to be your reading if it resonates with you the most. If you find that it's not resonating that is okay, don't force feed the messages. Or perhaps you might be interested in a personal reading. Um, if so, my email address is listed below. bottom of the deck is the nine of swords the nine of swords is a bit of a stressful energy this is an energy of um, maybe having some uh, like restless or broken sleep it's an energy uh, it's a kind of like a nervous kind of energy it's you might be stressing a lot about something you may be prone to headaches or migraines um, you may feel as though you're reaching like some sort of breaking point. It's negative emotions. This is a card of negative emotions that weigh on your mind. Um, it's also a card of worry. If you find yourself worrying right now about someone, about something, just remember that worrying excessively about a situation is not helpful nor is it useful worrying does nothing to improve the situation to make things better if anything it only deteriorates the situation and makes makes things worse um, you're worried about something and it feels like it's a fear-based energy there's a lot of fear here you're fearful that something might not work out or you're fearful that um i don't know there's something here that you're worried or you're uh, afraid of just remember that most of our fears never truly materialize um, and just be careful that the, this this energy isn't holding you back from happiness this energy isn't holding you back from joy uh, the nine of swords is a reminder that you have to break a cycle right now if it's the cycle of negative thinking if it's the cycle of you know you worrying excessively about a situation like, there's no guarantees. You want to do something, but you're not sure if this person's going to respond or if the situation is going to work out. Even the tarot cards can't guarantee you, right? Um, but if you don't try, if you don't give this a go, or if you don't have this experience, you won't know what comes out of it. So worrying about whatever it is that you're worrying here is not... It's not helping you. So it's time for you to break a cycle. And the person that I'm connecting to, I think you know what this cycle is because it's a cycle that I think you know that you have to cut ties with something or perhaps someone or a situation or self-limiting um, beliefs, negative thinking, negative emotions, or maybe just any negativity or toxicity in your life. I think you know you have to cut ties, but it feels like you've tried to do this you've tried to break a cycle you've tried to break a pattern or a habit but it feels like you're going back to square one um but it, it's it's not easy to do but i think it's something that you know you have to do because you're going to be happier you're going to feel healthier you're going to be a better you know version of you because of you cutting ties with whoever or whatever this is when it comes to your home space, I think you have to, the cards are urging you to give it a little bit more, uh, pay it a little bit more attention, especially if you're someone who is feeling really overwhelmed right now. Anything, like if you have a lot of clutter around the home, it may be a good idea to sort of tidy up your space and just make sure it's not making you feel, you know, further overwhelmed or anything. There's also something here that 
I think someone got rejected for I don't know I feel some sort of application um, or some you've missed out on something especially when it comes to home uh, home space or property it, it wasn't meant to be okay whatever doors closed for you and whatever rejection or whatever missed opportunity you feel like you've had just just find comfort in the thought that whatever was behind the doors wasn't meant to be there is something here that I feel like is changing within your home space there's some sort of with the four of wands there's some sort of um you're celebrating here it, it feels like maybe it's a housewarming uh, maybe you're buying a property maybe you're moving into a new property maybe you're carrying out renovations maybe you're celebrating um, and you're welcoming people into your home into your space but there's something here to do that I, um, with your home life it could also be that you might be reconnecting with family whom you haven't seen um, family or friends whom you haven't seen or heard from in a really long time um, also, I feel like there's something here that you're looking for, but I think your home space, like you're looking for it outside, but I feel like it's within, within, like you already have this, or if you feel like you've lost an object or something, it's lying somewhere around the house. It's just that you're not able to see it. Um, be very patient is the message that I get for you. Be very patient, especially when it comes to like, relocating homes or relocating addresses or work uh anything like that um be very patient also i just feel like there may be someone new coming into your life this could be a romantic energy it could be a friend it could be someone that you might be reconnecting from the past uh, it feels like this person is uh, connected to you in some way be patient because i think that whoever this person is to you is definitely worth the wait I'm also seeing that with the Queen of Swords, there's something key you need to get off your mind, okay? And I feel like the Queen of Swords is here to encourage you to have that conversation. Is it going to be awkward? Probably. Is it going to feel uncomfortable? Yes. Is it going to be a bit of a struggle? Because I feel like it's something that you've been avoiding. But the thing is, you can't say that it hasn't been bothering you. It's... I feel like there's someone you either want to connect with or there's something you want to know from someone, whether it's closure, whether you want an explanation or an apology. Um, there's something here that I feel like a conversation that needs to take place with another individual that you're either seeking the truth or you need to speak the truth, speak your truth. You need to get something off your chest or you feel like you need to get confirmation or clarification or an explanation from this person so the queen of swords is saying you know just do it have that conversation as awkward as uncomfortable it might be in the moment i think what you'll gain from out of it is definitely going to help you either move on from this situation or move forward uh, i think it's i think whoever this person is to you that's related to this situation this person has been weighing heavy on your energy okay and there's something here that you've been wanting to say or something that they've said to you and you keep playing it on repeat on loop um it, you have to you have to have that conversation that conversation might not change everything for you but it is going to change something it's going to change something between you and this person or the dynamics or it might even help you just to let whatever this is go. Speaking of letting something go, there's something in your energy that I feel like you're very torn over. Uh, there is some, there's some sort of regret. There's some sort of regret, a lot of stress, a lot of conflict. What's going on here? Five is an interesting number. I feel like that's useful to you. I also feel like there's a situation that I'm picking up around you that I feel like you're involved with. And it feels like a little bit chaotic. It's There's a little bit of chaos to the situation. Um, tension or disagreement. Maybe you have to overcome some sort of challenge. Or there's, or maybe you have to take... like make some moves in order to 
in order to get away from the situation. Another interesting energy that I'm picking up is you're a water sign, right? You are a very, you're a vessel for love. You be love so much that it is blocking you. That there's something here that I feel like you're fearing a lot and it feels like it's love or it feels like it's connection. You fear it so much that it feels like it's blocking you. I also feel like you're stuck in some sort of negative pattern of emotions where you feel like you're not seeing the way out because it's it's there's a lot of chaos in this energy um i think that i think that you need to turn your heart to the light all the hurt all the anger all the grief all the sadness that you're holding on to You need to let it, you need to let go of it. You have to, there's something here that you need to release. You need to release, otherwise it's blocking you. There's some sort of emotions that you're holding inside, which I feel like relates to this Nine of Swords energy. It could be for a past person. It could be for a past situation. It could be a romantic energy. This person might not be romantically involved with you. It could be a friend, a family member, a relative, someone around you. Um, you the thing is, you're focused you're stuck in this cycle of feeling these negative emotions and it feels like it's grief, it's sadness, it's regret over a past person or over a past situation. You need to create space in your heart. You need to let go of these negative emotions and you need to create space in your heart for new healthy emotions to root, okay, to new, for new positive emotions to root. I'm also seeing that to the person that I'm connecting to, you are picking up on a person from the past, okay, whom you still, you know, there's still this emotional thread that connects the two of you together. You're picking up on a person from the past coming back into your life or you're wanting to reconnect with this person. There's something about communication with this person being a challenge at the, uh, in particular at this time, or there's just something very challenging about this situation. Maybe this is uh, someone who has, like, you feel like you have competition with this person. Like, you feel like you're competing for their attention or their love. Uh, maybe you feel like this person, there's some sort of rivalry that exists between you and this person. Or there's this energy, at least, of rivalry. Um, it could be clashes of the ego involved here, too. I feel like there's someone here whom you might be trying to, I don't know who this person is exactly, but I feel like the both of you are trying to outdo each other. You're very competitive with this person. There's a commitment to misunderstanding one another. There's a commitment to trying to outdo one another. It can be competition that you might be experiencing from a close friend. Um, maybe this person, maybe the way it's coming across isn't the way it really seems. Maybe this is like a best friend who's trying to push you uh, to do, you know, to better yourself. There's someone here who I feel like is, I don't know, there's this energy of pushing. They're pushing forward their feelings or they're competing with you in some way. But there is this energy of you having to face some sort of internal struggle where you're struggling to find a place or you're a rank or a category here. You're struggling to find where you fit or you're struggling to find out where you belong or how you place in something here. Um, just remember, if this is you, if you're the competitive one, if you feel like you're constantly trying to compete with someone, just remember... The person, the most important person that 
you are competing with is your own self. Okay, all the contests, all competition and all the successes, they could never teach you the important lesson that you will be able to teach yourself. There's something about mirroring, I'm also, mirrors or mirroring. Um, something about someone mirroring your body language or your, I don't know, maybe you've, you've bought new mirrors for the house or there's just something about the concept of mirrors. Maybe every time you look into a mirror, you're judging yourself. Um, But I'm also getting like a funhouse mirror, the exaggeration, like, a, like the funhouse mirrors. And some of you are spending too much time focusing on some detail where I think this mirror, whatever this mirror is, maybe it's a metaphor, maybe it's symbolic of something, but this mirror is distorting. There's a mirror that distorts and there's a mirror that teaches the truth. You're spending too much time focusing on a mirror that is distorting what you see or how you see things all right guys and these are your messages thanks for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by um, liking and subscribing it helps the channel to grow keep shining your light and bye for now